Okay, so um, once the drawing is set up and once you've completed the drawing, uh, you'll, you'll see that we've been working in model space, but there's two other tabs by default, layout one and layout two. If you click on layout one, you'll see that there's a eight and a half by 11 sheet set up. So this is a standard uh, letter size piece of paper. And there's also this rectangle in the middle um, that is your viewport. So the viewport looks into the model space environment. Um, if you right click on layout, uh, you'll see that there's the um, a few different options. And to set up the page, you go to Page Setup Manager. So if you click on that, um, you'll get this dialog box. Um, we're going to go ahead and modify our layout one. And here we have a few different options. Um, it, first, it just gives us a graphic representation of the 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Um, it also gives us other information about the scale of the drawing. So right now the scale of the plot is at 1 to 1. The plot area is the layout. Um, the paper size, 8.5 by 11, and then the plotter type. So we're going to go ahead and plot these out as PDFs. So if you change that to PDF, um, and then the assignment asks for 18 inch by 24 inch piece of paper um, for the drawing. So that's an arc C paper. So you could see that when we select arc C, it changes and reflects that in the graphic showing 18 by 24. Going to make sure that's landscape format. Um, so just double check that that's landscape. I'm going to leave the scale at one to one, and I'm going to leave the uh, what to plot as a layout. Um, there are different options for uh, the scale as well, um, but again, I just want to leave these uh, leave leave this at one to one, and I'll hit OK and close out of this tab. So now you can see that the page um, is larger. It's now reflecting the 18 inch by 24 inch piece of paper, but our viewport has stayed the same size. So I'm going to click on the viewport and then just drag these grips um, and expand those so that the viewport covers a, a larger area of the, of the new paper size. Um, in model space, we still are zoomed uh, at the same scale in model space. So um, this is where you can start to toggle between model space and paper space. So by clicking on the on the paper tab, it switches to model space. You can see the viewport tab is now dark a dark black line, and now we can pan and zoom and move uh, just the same way as you can when you're in model space. So um, to exit out of model space you can just double click in the gray area. So over here I'm just double clicking and then that takes me back into the paper space. So now when I zoom and pan I'm doing that in paper space. Um, to assign the scale I'm going to activate the model space and then there's an option here to set my scale um, and I just have to try a couple of these out. So I'll do eighth of an inch equals a foot. Um, and that zooms me way in. Um, now the drawing is too big for that piece of paper. So I could um, bring it down to 3 30 seconds of an inch equals a foot. And that seems to fit pretty well. That's a standard architectural scale. And then I'll, again, I'll just double click in the gray area. And that just sets, resets it back to paper space. Um, and if I want to move these grips in or out a little bit more to fine tune the area that's going to be um, the printable, printable area, then I could do that. So um, if I right click again on layout one, I'm going to go ahead and plot this. It says arc C and it's a PDF. Um, looks good, so I'm just going to hit OK you can just find a location in your folder to save this. I'm just going to name this my AutoCAD uh, plot test. And this is um, 
plot test 18 inches 18 by 24 so I'll hit save to that and now we have our uh, PDF so I'm just gonna open this up uh, I can rotate this so that it's facing um, the right direction and in landscape format so by right clicking I'm just gonna rotate this page so I'll rotate that correctly um, but you can see that the colors are still showing up in the plot which is what we don't want uh, we want this to be a black and white drawing so I'll show you how to change the colors um, to black and white in the next video